Hi friends, in today's session, we are going to learn about the adjustment to final accounts in relation to accrued income. In our previous videos, we have already learned three adjustments, namely closing stock, outstanding expenses and prepaid expenses. If you have not watched the videos, I am giving the links of the video in the description below. Please do watch the same. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon to get instant notifications. Please do share this to your friends for whom this may be useful. First, let us learn what is accrued income. What is accrued income? There may be situations where certain items of income such as rent, commission, interest on loan etc. are earned during the current accounting period but have not been actually received by the end of the same period. Such income are known as accrued income. In other words, the income which is earned during the current accounting period but which is not yet received by the end of the same accounting period is called as accrued income. The adjustment entry for accrued income is so the adjustment entry is accrued income account debtor accrued income account debtor to the concerned income account so we will be increasing the concerned income account and we will be creating a new asset accrued income let us have an illustration to understand this adjustment let us have a look into this additional information Commission amounting to Rs. 4000 pertain to March 2020 was still receivable. So this is an accrued income. Therefore the adjusting entry is accrued commission account debit Rs. 4000 to commission account Rs. 4000. This was our original trial balance before the adjustments. Here you can see the commission received amount is Rs. 29000. Now we have an accrued income of Rs. 4000. So the commission received becomes rupees 33,000. We have added rupees 4,000 to this 29,000. As a result, this has become 33,000. And a new asset named accrued commission gets inserted into the trial balance, which amounts to rupees 4,000. Now let us have a look into the effect of this adjustment in the profit and loss account. Since rupees 4,000 gets added to the income. The profit also increases by rupees 4000. Since the net profit increases by 4000, the liability side increases by rupees 4000. The asset side also increases by 4000 because a new head accrued commission comes into picture. Therefore, the balance sheet tallies. Therefore, the summary is to adjust accrued income, a new asset accrued income must be created and the concerned income should be increased by the amount of accrued income. Friends, I hope you have understood the adjustment for accrued income. If you have any doubts, please do leave it as a comment below. Please show your support by subscribing to my channel. Also, press the bell icon to get instant notifications. Let's make accounting simple.